Welcome back to the Big Data Channel where we will briefly discuss the breaking news in the world. Before continuing to the news topic, don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell so you don't miss the next breaking news. Anna Kiesenhofer of Austria wins women's road race at Tokyo Olympics Anna Kiesenhofer, Austria pulled off one of the biggest ever shocks in women's elite road racing to win the Olympic title in Tokyo on Sunday. The Austrian attack from the gun is part of a five-rider break that managed to build a lead of 11 minutes before she dropped her companions on the Kagasaka Pass with 41 kilometers to go and held off the entire bunch to take gold. The race also saw the Dutch team mess up their tactics, with silver medalist Annemiek van Beluden crossing the line in second place but celebrating as if she had won the race. The Dutch leader later confirmed that she thought that the break had been caught well before the finish and that her attack with 2.1 kilometers was enough to take the title. In the end, she was forced to settle for silver, with Elisa Longo Borghini, Italy taking third after a late chase. Lot Kopecky, Belgium, led home the remnants of the peloton in fourth. Kiesenhofer, a recognized time trialist but without a world tour team or any teammates in the race, came into the event as an absolute outsider for a medal but a perfect storm of questionable tactics from the major nations, especially the Netherlands, incredible legs from the 30-year-old, and a huge error made by the chase were enough to seal the gold medal in dramatic style. To put Kiesenhofer's dominant performance into context, she held off a solo counterattack from Annemiek van Beluden, Netherlands, who jumped with 51 kilometers to go but was unable to cut the Austrians' lead down to under 5 minutes. The Dutch rider was reeled in with 25 kilometers remaining. Throughout the day, the bunch failed to get to grips with the breakaway. First, they allowed a powerful group of Kiesenhofer, Carla Overholzer, South Africa, Bira Lusser, Namibia, Omer Shapira, Israel, and Anna Plitsch to Poland, to ride away at the start and establish a lead of 10 minutes. With 100 kilometers to go, and the gap holding steady, the only team that took responsibility for the chase seemed to be Germany, who cut a minute off the break's advantage as the leaders dropped down three riders. What was needed was a consistent chase pattern but, after Van Beluden had a brief scare when she fell with around 60 kilometers to go, the Dutch decided that they would fire riders up the road in a bid to break up the bunch and cut the gap. They succeeded in those aims to some extent but, when Van Beluden did attack, the lead was still almost 6 minutes. The Dutch rider never even looked close to catching Kiesenhofer, and when she was caught it was too late for the bunch to salvage the race as out ahead Kiesenhofer put in the time trial of her life. The four-rider Dutch team finally began a concerted chase inside the final 10 kilometers, with silver and bronze still on the line. They caught the remnants of the break with less than 5 kilometers to go before Van Beluden attacked in the closing stages to salvage silver, with Elisa Longo Borghini, Italy, taking bronze. For Kiesenhofer, who even took a break from racing after losing her place on Lotto in 2017, the win was quite obviously the biggest victory of her career, and the next race will be between teams hoping to sign her for 2022. A glimpse of today's breaking news, wait for our next breaking news. Thank you for watching this news.